With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the given question here we have is prove that the points minus 2 comma minus 1, 1 comma 0, 4 comma 3 and 1 comma 2 are the vertices of a parallelogram. Okay, this is what we have to prove. So first of all, this is my solution part. So let's draw a parallelogram. So this is my parallelogram here. Okay, guys, so this is what my parallelogram here I have. Now let's mark this parallelogram points here I have what. So basically, let's mark the points here. First one is what A point and let's A point be what minus 2 comma minus 1. Okay, so minus 2 comma minus 1 I have A point. Another point is what B point. So B point is basically 1 comma 0. So 1 comma 0. So C point is basically what 4 comma 3. So I can say C point is what 4 comma 3 and last point which is what left. Let's name this as D and the coordinates are what 1 comma 2. Okay. And if I have to draw the diagonals of this parallelogram. Okay. So the diagonals of this parallelogram are what first one is this one which is what BD and the next one is what AC here I have. Here I have what diagonal AC. Okay guys. So now let's Mark this as a midpoint of this diagonal intersecting point as M and the above one is what? In as N. I'll tell you why I've divided them as M and N. Okay, so guys. So first of all, look here carefully. Okay, so it says that I have these four points. Okay, so let's suppose that's given to me in the quotient. Let A, which is what minus 2, comma minus 1, B, which is what 1, comma 0, and C, which is what 4, comma 3. And last one is what D, which is what 1, comma 2. Other what is over triangle oh, parallelogram? So, R what vertices of, here I have parallelogram, parallelogram, okay guys, so after this, so after this what I can do, first one, I am going to find the midpoints of what, A and C, okay, first is what, I am going, uh, going to find the midpoint of AC, so I can say that here, my midpoint, my midpoint of what, AC side, Okay, of AC diagonal or we can say. So midpoint of AC is what clearly this will become what? This is the midpoint only really minus 2 plus 4 divided by 2. Okay, so let also let's suppose midpoint of AC is what? Let's name this as my M point. Okay, let's name this as what my M point. So M coordinate values. So this will become what? If you guys can notice, X coordinate value is really 4, 4 plus of minus 2. So this will be minus of 2 divided by 2 here I have. And in terms of Y coordinates, Y coordinates will be 3 minus of 1, 3 plus of minus of 1. 3 plus of minus of 1 divided by what 2 so clearly I can write this part as what also this part can also be written as directly minus of 1 right guys so I can write here minus of 1 these are the midpoints of what m so this will become what this will become 4 minus 2 will be 2 by 2 and this is what 2 by 2 again okay guys so this will become m the coordinate values of what m will be what 1 comma 1 so this is the midpoint values of what m now if I find the value of what midpoint of the diagonal bd okay so midpoint so my midpoint of diagonal BD okay let's name this as what my N so again if I have to find the midpoint of N so this will be what this will be again X coordinate values and divide by 2 so 1 plus 1 divide by 2 so 1 plus 1 divide by 2 will be what 1 plus 1 divide by 2 next one will be what next one will be again 2 plus 0 okay so this will be 2 plus 0 divide by 2 so here this will become what this will become N will be 2 by 2 again and this is what again 2 by 2 so this coordinate values of N also are what 1 comma 1 so we can say that what we can say now both the diagonals AC and BD are having same midpoint values which is what 1 comma 1 okay thus we can say that here thus AC okay AC and BD okay AC and BD have the same midpoint values have the same okay guys have the same midpoint value okay so in that case I can say one thing that in that case in other words AC and BC are what bisect each other so in other words I can say in other words AC right and BD are what are basically bisect basically bisecting each other at same point okay each other and what same point so in that case my ABCD that implies that my ABCD is a is a parallelogram this is the most important thing we have to conclude this is what my parallelogram because if both the diagonals if both the diagonals of a parallelogram have the same center point or have the same midpoint in that case this will become a this is a condition for a parallelogram okay so we can say that as my ABCD my ABCD is what my parallelogram here we just proved it so I can say that hence proved okay for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today